We look to the future and we, we want to create a better world. Now is our time to change the world. Selma is now. We have Common joining us right now on the live line. Good morning, Common. Peace. What's up, Renata? How you doing? Great morning. First off, let me just give you a round of applause, man. You nearly had me in tears watching you on that big stage, the Golden Globes. Congratulations. Yo, thank you. I mean, it's, it's, I'm overwhelmed and, and I'm like just grateful and Ah, man, it's just a, a blessing to be a part of Selma. Yeah. And then to have Glory, the song, be a part of Selma. And then to be honored with the Golden Globes, it's, it was, it's another level for me. You handled it so well. You look like you've been on that stage before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you know, uh, you, you know I, just, I just wanted to, I felt like I'm representing hip-hop. I'm representing black people. I'm representing... You know, love and God. So I just wanted yeah. to go up there and, and and just be truthful and, and, and be open and, and and like I said, represent God. I felt like it, it, you were having like an outer body experience um, in that moment. Like it, it, like this whole project was bigger than yourself. It, the whole, the whole experience project, the the movement is bigger than any. It's bigger than me bigger than John Legend, bigger than Ava DuVernay, right. and anybody involved. Just the same way what Dr. King and the SCLC were doing was bigger than them. This movie is bigger than us. And, it, and it's like, it's ultimately, when it gets down to the core of it, it ain't about no egos. It ain't about like, ah, oh, man, we getting this. It, it really is to, to, to benefit people and like to inspire people and, and to bring people together. So... Because it has that, I just feel like even more passionate about it. And like, yeah. I, I talk about Selma every day. It's like, <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's, I just love being a part of it and just want people to, to be aware of it. How perfect did uh, Ava DuVernay, the director, capture uh, the man of Martin Luther King Jr.? Not, not, not just him, but the entire uh, civil rights movement and everyone that was a part of it. I feel like this movie humanized the whole movement. Yeah. It truly did. She did a, I, I believe she created a masterpiece that yes. will be around for the ages. And she showed that that the people, it takes the people to make a movement. And it wasn't just Dr. King. And we got to see Dr. King, who's this great human being, be a man. Like mm. have mm -hmm. doubts, have fears, you know, um, go through his like bouts with infidelity. Yes. And, just, you know, you just saw it like as you said that you got to know the people got to know the human being and that just lets us know that we we have dr king in us you know we got we have um the ability to do great things in the world no matter how human no matter what our flaws are absolutely hold your thought right there we will come back more with common make sure you go out and check out the movie selma sirius xm 44 air candy mornings Here, Candy Moon and Sirius XM 44. I'm Renata Romain. Hip Hop Nation Common is on a live line with us right now. Uh, you know, man, I feel like when you and John Legend get on a record together, it is like magic. Well, thank you. I mean, I, I love John Legend. He's my brother. His voice is, is, is incredible and he's it's important. Like, he's important like to, to, to culture and to the world. Like, so... We've done a lot of records together. Right. We started in good music. Well, you know, I started before good music, but we, you know, when he first came out, we were all part of the good music family. So we've been doing work together for a long. We've toured together. Should we even did a song together at Kanye's wedding? So it's like really nice. We, yeah, yeah. We just, you know, it's just, it's a real natural, organic like combination we got in, in, in Glory. We both just were, were honored to be able to do a song for a film about. Dr. King and the people. Right. And you guys followed up with a video. I just watched the video and the video is amazing as well. Now, in the movie, you play James Bevel, one of the leaders of the civil rights movement. Were you familiar with him prior to the movie? No, nah, but, you know, I got to know him more about him. He passed in 2008. Right. But uh, he was one of the brilliant leaders that was in the SCLC and he was married to another w a woman in the movement who was named Diane Dash and and funny enough I went to the Million Man March back in 1995 he was one of the guys that came on before Farrakhan and it happened to be James Bevel who I was told later he was one of the idea 
one of the guys who had the idea for the Million Man March. And, that, wow. and back in the 60s, he was one of the guys who said, man, we should do the march on Washington. So he was a really brilliant and forward thinker. And um, I was honored to play James Bevel. This comment on Sirius XM 44, Hip Hop Nation. Hip Hop Nation. Comment is on the live line celebrating his Golden Globe win for uh, the song Glory, which is on the movie soundtrack of Selma. Comment, can folks find that on iTunes? Yes, it's part of the Selma soundtrack, which is a wonderful soundtrack. But you can get Glory on iTunes. And um, yeah, but make sure you go see Selma, too. That's really like it's, it's really an inspiring movie. Now, one of the things you said in your acceptance speech was that uh, Selma is now and it is with all that's happening with police brutality around the country and uh, stand up for justice protests and rallies um uh, do you think that we can use not just the movie but you know the civil rights movement as like as a blueprint for how we can handle today's injustice i use the exact same word it's the blueprint for us to like with so much going on and justice is going on we need to know, we need to know how to do it and we can you know obviously Young people are in, engaged in this state. They fired up and, and want to do something good. So it's good to know, okay, this is how some people did it before, and we can take some of what they did and, and know that we can do it peacefully and add on by, you know, add on whatever new thoughts and ideas and the new resources we have, whether it be the Internet and, and different things and just, you know, Keep it growing, right. keep it moving forward. That's what. But this, this truly is is a movement of now. And even this film doesn't feel like it's of the past. It feels like, like you could like when we were doing the press for summer, you could look out the window and right. see people right. marching. So it's like wow. it's, it's, re- it's relevant. Some people um, feel like Dr. King's dream um, has been realized. Do you think it has? I think it's. I think in some ways it has. But it's still, you know, it's it's an ongoing dream. It could, it, the dream could get better. And, you know, as far as, I mean, his what he envisioned can't get better because he envisioned heaven, really. Right. But I'm saying we could get better in this world by, you know, like improving the situations and getting through some of the racial divide. Uh, we, we obviously see that it's it's some miscommunication and, and, and lack of understanding going on in the communities with, with some with some police force and, and young black people, but it's also like situations going on amongst our community that we can improve on. Absolutely. And, you know, so all, I mean, I think the things that Dr. King was dreaming of was where we want to be. So we've come some way, but we got a, a long way to go. Now, I know that you are probably on the set shooting uh, some movie right now. A- am I right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fin- I finished up this film called Run All Night. It's, it's a movie with Liam Neeson oh. that'll be out um, in April. Nice. It's, it's called Run All Night, yeah. You know, you winning that Golden Globe and just being a part of this project as a whole, Selma, uh, is pretty big for the culture itself, hip-hop. What do you say to maybe, you know, a younger person that may not be able to connect with the civil rights movement? important to know where you come from and know the past because you can learn from those things it's, it's history and, and and like the struggle that, that happened that is still occurring today that can give you not only blueprint but inspiration and, and, and reverence for what happened. Just knowing, like having reverence for those that came before you will give you, will help to inform where you're going in the future. And I think, you know, hip, the hip hop can really, I mean, because there's so many young people with, with talent, like, and it's, it's, it's fresh minds out there. But, you know, you got to know some of the things that that, that you came from. So right. you could say, well, man, I, this is what's going on right now. Maybe I can uh, apply this. And But I also got a new way of thinking about it. So let me get that perspective, too. Right. But absolutely. It's important, it's important that, to know where you come from. I think hip hop can really, like, be helpful because it's a voice for all of us. Right. And if, if, if you just know, like, okay, this is some of our history. This is what the civil, this is what happened in the civil rights. And this is, this is what happened, actually, that came from, from slavery, you know. And this is how far we've come. And then, you know, you can say, oh, okay, well, we'd be here now. This is how I'm going to, to use it. And I, I think that's how we can utilize our past. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Common. Congratulations once again. We're just so proud of you, man, with all that you're doing and how you are continuing to educate, to entertain, but also educate and empower the people.
as well. Yeah,